What's up, everybody? I'm Z Wade, the Z Wade and Z Wade Photo, coming at you from the home office of Z Wade Photo LLC. And I want to kind of throw my opinion into the ringer of the Nikkor Z 85mm f 1.2s, which I have been waiting for for a couple of years uh, since I got into the Nikon mirrorless system. It's been on the roadmap. So, what did we get? We got a uh, development announcement. Now, I don't really know what that means, um, but. <laughs> I have some thoughts. So not all of my subscribers watch uh, Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. And um, I, I do watch Jared Poland um, from time to time, especially his photo news fixes. And he mentioned that he actually has already shot it, but he, could, he can't show us any pictures or anything. So development announcement, I think it's just like a marketing word. You know, it's, it's already developed. Right. And it probably has been for a while. And he also mentioned that the only thing he will say is uh, put your money aside and 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 get ready for it because you're going to want it. So that tells me that it's probably going to kick a lot of behind. But I want to talk about some things I noticed that nobody is talking about. Well, some people are talking about the fact that there's no, um, you know, display screen, which I'm fine with. I could care less about the. I don't even use them that much. If anything, it's just a little bit of a battery drainer, but not much. Who cares? Um, so I'm okay with that. But I want to take a look. Do you remember when the blueprints leaked and it was talking about um, defocus image control? Well, I, on the focusing ring here, you can see a very clear line here. That is for the focus ring. And if you look up here, you do not see any kind of obvious indication that this front ring is going to turn at all. Now that tells me that it's going to be something like on the 50 millimeter F 1.2 where this doesn't do anything. It's just kind of either for decoration or at the very least just something grippy to hold on to at the front. Now I'm actually okay with that because my estimate initially was that if it did have defocus image control, I didn't want it because I probably wouldn't use it that much, especially at F 1.2. It's like, what are you trying to defocus? The background is absolutely annihilated, right? And so I was thinking that's going to be a $3,500 lens, right? And so I've been preparing for 3,500 bucks. What I think happened was I think that either that was fake Okay, the blueprint leak was fake, but if it wasn't fake, okay, and by the way, let me know in the comments below if you remember that that blueprint leak where it looked like so, it was something with defocus image control, I think that's going to be the 135 because Nikon has already had a 105 and a 135 F2, uh, both with defocus image control. And so it would make sense if they're going to come out with another 135, give it defocus image control and make it an F1.8 because it seems to be the the uh, paradigm that the Z-mount lenses are all kind of coming in at lower um, F-stops or, or wider apertures, right? So F1.8s and 1.4s are kind of pretty easily, you know, F1.2s. And, you know, an F2, why not be an F1.8, which according to the roadmap, that's what it looks like it would be. And so I'm excited for this, right? I've been waiting for this and I'm glad it doesn't have defocus image control or doesn't look like it anyway, because that means that I think that's going to make it a thousand dollars less. I think this is uh well, roughly, I think that this lens price wise, it's going to go one of two ways. So Nikon is either going to uh, price it at what I think it should is probably going to be priced at, which is like 25, 2600 bucks or Nikon is going to pull a a mean business move and they're going to play on the fact that they know people are hungry for this lens and they're just going to make it a you know a $3200 lens if they're playing on the hype but it seems like Nikon is pricing its lenses really really well in in my opinion as far as what you get the 50 mm f1.2 was recently on sale for like 1850 or 1900 bucks and that's a steal okay cuz that lens is sick 
And this lens is going to be sick. Look at it. It's going to be so fat. It looks like it's definitely shorter than the 50 millimeter f1.2, but it has much more girth. Anyway, I'm super excited for this, but I hadn't seen anybody talking about uh, the, the fact that, you know, this doesn't look like it's going to have defocus image control. And we did have those blueprints and maybe they're fake. Maybe I missed where, you know, somebody found out they were fake. But anyway, yeah, just, you know, dropping my two cents in on the 85 millimeter F 1.2 S. Oh, it's going to be so juicy. If it's anything like the 50 millimeter, and I think it's actually going to be better. Oh man, this lens is never going to leave my Z9. I'm Z-Wade, the Z-Wade, and Z-Wade Photo, and we'll talk soon.